Hey guys, look at this. 15 hours before sailing to Antigua. And I still got a little bit to do, guys. But it looks like a lot of mess. I'm cleaning out the last bits and pieces of the boat. I'm um, actually, that's actually, that's my sleeping room. I'm installing the water tank now. The last thing it in here. Is a lot of oh mess. my God. I, I caught him I, running I, there, <laughs> but I caught him. <laughs> Oh, sure. I thought I was on my own for a second. Your life, your life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh guys. Well, okay. So I thought everybody left so I could have a little bit of time on my own, like doing the last bits and pieces, cleaning up. But this is how the boat looks 15 hours before we're setting off, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit. Look at it. I'm installing another water tank in here so that's another 120 liters of water it's uh yeah actually connected here so we basically you can see it here we've got two lines one and two uh two uh water tanks underneath the bed and we can just you can see a little switch over there so if one is empty then we can always use the other one and that way we can have a really good look at how much water we are using and i'm going to show you the deck actually because I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. So this is where we're gonna be staying outside and I'm so proud of my little wind vane. And I'm gonna show you the rest of, oh, I'm gonna switch the camera around. Look, Nadine is gonna do some washing. There we go. Uh, we've got the lifelines here, they're gonna be on deck. Uh, we've got the boat stored here right now, but it's gonna be inside. And look at this guys, I've installed the mast steps. And I've installed two beautiful like LEDs. Uh, I need to cut the wires though, but uh, look at that. So we've got on the bottom, I've got these retractable ones. So there you go in, there you go. So we can't hit ourselves. Uh, the rest is solid. So you can climb up there without using, uh, well, in emergency without a harness or whatever. Need to chuck the syrup ports away. Got a spare ladder, two spare sails. Yeah, we need to secure that somewhere. Uh, that's a lot of junk going, cause Nadine is gonna make me throw away everything. Like there's so much that I have and uh, yeah, we need to throw it away, there's not enough space. Gotta secure the anchor. Solar panels, pff, they're running like an idiot. I'm making 10 amps an hour. So basically guys, that's the boat and we'll be sailing tomorrow morning uh, Yeah, at sunrise. We've got a pretty big adventure and story to tell you because uh, we're leaving with the two of us. Just two. Just two. After a week of sailing, uh, yeah, Philip figured out that the boat is just too small for him. He can't stand up. Uh, he's already having like back pain after a week and it's just really too small. So Philip decided to leave the boat. And Sophia had the agreement with Philip and her husband, like, hey, we're gonna sail with four or not. So she joined them on the way back to the Netherlands. So it's us two left. Never crossed an ocean, but the boat is prepared. We've done a lot to the boat, guys. We've got everything arranged, like uh, for the guys that always think that I'm not doing anything. We've got one, a good route planner, always in a waterproof housing. Actually, we've got two. Uh, so we're doing it by Navionics. We also have the Garmin in reach, so you can follow us uh, through our satellite phone. It gives us our location. We can send out messages, uh, so that's well arranged. We actually just checked the weather forecast and we're gonna start off pretty, pretty hard because we're gonna have 20, 25 knots today. Woo! So it's- Go a, hard or go home. Go hard or go home. <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna be a great adventure. And um, we've been through the boat up till the, from the top to the bottom and it's all been out as you've probably seen. Yeah, every, yeah. Of all the mess, but everything's perfect now. Everything's organized and I think everything's- We're pretty safe. Be. Like I've organized the boat for four people and now it's just two. So I have four life vests on board. We've got like all the safety equipment, the lifelines. We've got the life raft. I'm just gonna say, Carlos, thank you. It's a Sailing Ninja, check him out as well. He gave us his uh, live raft, I'll put a post later on. We're gonna leave in probably like 30 minutes, so I'm having a little bite just before we go. Um, is there anything you wanna say or shall we just give him a little tour to the boat? Show him the boat. The galley, we've got made some pasta for the trip. We've got a good freezer stuffed with uh, meat, chicken. We've got a little fridge over here. 
this is some supplies. This is the free room where Philip was sleeping. So now we've just chucked everything in there. We've got a chart table here, two solar panels running with, well, now we're still on land, so it's only putting in 2.3, but it's gonna give us 10 amps, 13 in the batteries. We have two radios, a nice little sink, enough cups to pour a lot of water and maybe on Christmas night, a little bit of champagne. We've got here the Garmin that will send out signals all the way. And this is all stocked with food, guys. So we have so much stuff, guys. Uh, my little room, and I need to clear that up, but hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know me. <laughs> We've got all the toiletries in here. Little bathroom. Everything's stuffed away, and thank you, Nova Vitea, for all the vitamins. We have bananas, we have oranges, we have fruit, we have salads. Uh, we've got like tons of emergency equipment. We've got a lot of like, uh, well, I, I, I don't hope so, but if anything goes wrong, even without subscription, when you're sailing, you can go to the pharmacy and say, okay, I'm gonna cross an ocean. I need uh, yeah, some good, good, uh, how do you call it? When you get rid of the pain, painkillers. Pain killer, yeah. Okay. Well, this is an Antium. It gets an elephant to sleep, even if you need to be stitched up. Sophia, thank you so much for bringing all the stitching material. I hope we aren't gonna need it, but are you okay with stitching I, me up? Listen, if you cut yourself, I'm more than happy to stitch you up. Um, am I allowed to drink the whiskey? I will, yeah, definitely. I will insist on it. Hank Kuipers, thank you a lot for the whiskey. We drank a little bit. We have one bottle left, so I'm gonna use that if Nadine's gonna stitch me up. I'm gonna take you guys outside. Well, this is Nadine's room. Just a quick little peek. There we go. Let's get you guys outside. This is probably one of the cleanest boats going for the ocean. So guys, we have here fishing rods. We've got life vests. Yes, guys, we're gonna wear it. We've got the wind vane. And don't look at that, guys, because I'm gonna switch the camera around. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do it live because the tie wraps are there. But to be honest, look at this, guys. I'm standing on the wind vane. That's how strong it is. So. Uh, it's gonna be bolted, but for now it's gonna be secure. So everything is rock solid on this boat, guys. I've got here on top, look at it. We've got the solar panels and the wind vanes, and look what I made as well. Like it was a little bit of advice from Mark Slots. Uh, because I'm only sailing in front of the wind, I made two running backstays. So these lines go to the cleats over there, and then they're actually going to the mast. So I actually gonna seal the boat with four backstays now because if I'm having two Genoas out there's gonna be a lot of pressure on the mast. So uh, even here we've got... I'd like to show something. Oh you like to show something. Oh there we go. There we go. It's our shower. It's our shower guys. Believe it or not it's gonna keep us fresh for the whole trip. But we also got a little bit more water on deck guys. That should give us a couple of more showers. The live raft and uh, Nadine, what, oh, Nadine fixed all the nets. So you can see, if you look around, all nets are fixed. I'm super happy. I We're gonna do to it, go. eh? Let's go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Under 20 days. Oh, actually, I still wanna show you something. Oh. Cause I've got my book out in Spanish now. So I'm sailing to South America and my Spanish book is out. It's for sale from today. If you have any, friends or relatives that want to speak uh, Spanish or you want to learn Spanish, buy my book. It's 10 euros and the 10 euros a book will give us a little beer when we arrive in Antigua. We, I hope so. We, we would appreciate that. So I'm going to show you my book, guys. You can download it now. It's in the link on my Gran Hotel de Bayes. I will put a link up so maybe we can stay in a harbor because I'm fully broke, to be honest. Etteke de Boer. Thank you so much, Etteke. Etteke was the translator when my parents got arrested in Tenerife and she's working for the police a lot of times and she wanted to translate it. So I'm stoked. Etika, thank you so much. So guys, 10 euros to download it. Well, 9.95 and it will give us a beer in Antigua. I love you all guys. I am stoked. We're gonna go. There's a lot of wind if you can see. Uh, oh, we've got my friend there. Last save from Lars. He gave us one of his life vests as well. Thank Lars, you. I love you, my buddy. Thank you for Thank all you. your advice. Can you do that? Someone's got a coat this is just amazing. We're gonna leave. 